Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I recorded a video earlier today uh, with my Canon XA40 Pro Camcorder and I was showing how to record two XLR microphones at once and um, I used two channel audio. Now what I explained was that the way this is gonna come into your video editor and of course this is a Caden Live video so uh, that's the one that I use on Ubuntu Linux. You're gonna get one microphone on each uh, channel left and right. Now this isn't just how it works on my particular camcorder. Uh, this is a pretty common uh, modern feature or workflow. I don't know what the best word to describe it is. That if you have a dual wireless lav system, uh, a common feature is you'll see, well, you'll be able to, it'll write each microphone of two microphones onto one stereo channel, left and right. And the idea is that when you're in post-production, you can separate that into two files, one for each microphone and then uh, work accordingly. So you might want to mute someone's mic at a certain point, gain someone's mic, etc. Now the question I had, well, what am I gonna do in Caden Live? So you can see what I have currently here on my editing timeline. This is the file I got from my camera. There's nothing really exciting going on here. I'm tapping on the shotgun microphone here. That's why you see these waveforms on the top and um, at the bottom of the lab work. Now, how, how to even get to this point, it's important to know. You need to right click on the audio icon and click on separate channels. Otherwise, this is how it looks by default, one waveform, and you're gonna to totally miss the fact that you've got two uh, different uh, left and right channels that are not, um, they're different microphones, as you can see here. So that's step number one. Now, I'm gonna just explain the workflow using a plugin I've just discovered in Caden Live. Not saying that it's the only workflow, but this does work for me. So let me just explain what I have here. The top channel, that's the one in blue. That is the stereo, uh, sorry, that is a shotgun microphone. And that's why I did this tapping thing. When I'm tapping on it, you can see those waveforms. So the bottom one is the uh, lavalier microphone. So to avoid confusion, it's really useful that you have this labeling feature. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and label this shotgun shotgun and then I'm going to ungroup and I'm going to copy over just the audio channel into audio channel 2 I'm going to keep it in sync but I'm going to call this la la I, I, I always call it lavalier I mean told the pre pre correct pronunciation is lavalier because it, presumably it's a French word all right now we need to apply the effects what we're going to do is look for type into the search bar now I had to search for this by default when I go into my effects menu in audio correction I don't have this I only have these so search for a stereo if you want and you'll get a whole bunch of uh, features in here so the one you want what we're trying to do really is stereo to mono if you think about it so stereo to mono and we have here stereo to mono and this is really easy so just think about what we want to do here so we've got our shock and microphone only on the left channel so we want to actually copy that left channel over to the right channel so just leave it like that okay uh copying our le our left channel which is our shotgun over to the right channel so we're overriding the audio uh that that was being collected from the lavalier and that way we're going to end up with a stereo audio feed just of the shotgun mic now the really cool thing i'm going to move this audio track out of the way for a second is that after I apply the plugin, so the tapping now should be audible. It's very audible. Well, well, watch what happens if I change the direction. In other words, if we say, let's copy right onto left, that's gonna be moving the uh, Lavelier microphone onto the um, track currently holding the information from the shotgun mic, and therefore giving us a sort of pseudo stereo track just with the lav mic. It's barely audible. Yeah. Now, I, I, if I was doing this video as best as I could, I would have been routing. Uh, so basically, this will, this will apply your changes in real time, which is great, so that when you're editing, you can cut and change accordingly. Now, all we need to do here, I'm gonna bring this guy uh, back, and we actually, we're simply going to, um, I'm gonna make sure this guy's in my favorites, because it's gonna be very, very useful to me from now on. I'm gonna drag and drop the plugin again. I'm gonna do the opposite. This time, I want to uh, take the right channel, and put it on to duplicate that over to the left channel. Uh, so now that's the process finished I have on the top channel. Now it doesn't show up on the waveform doesn't update as you may uh, notice um, automatically. In other words, now that the plugin's been changed, it should be showing the same waveform. Uh, for this one left to right, we should be seeing the left 
below and vice versa so that's one uh, I would say I guess almost flaw what you can do is turn off the separate channels feature if you find that less distracting but you, if you listen back to it you can make those changes and that's just one way of doing it so if you're working with two microphones um, in Caden Live and you're using a dual lav system or whatever kind of microphone system and its feature is that it writes each microphone onto a separate stereo track one microphone onto left channel one microphone onto right channel you don't need to export into audacity and uh, you know convert stereo to mono and re-import which is a tedious process you can simply do this by uh, using the stereo to mono plugin and uh, separating each uh, microphone onto its own stereo track that way a uh, couple the negative i found is that you don't see it in the waveform but you can just listen with your monitor headphones and edit accordingly and um, I think that's pretty much uh, all there is to say about it. So really useful if you're doing multi-mic productions. Hope this was useful. If you want to get more video from me, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.